Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to take a look at the Savata Yakri Small. The Savata Yakri Small. And they've got the main badge at the front. And they've been in business since 1955 and are based in Sumi, Finland. The material that this pack is 1000D Cordora. So as most people know the actual Cordora is fairly waterproof or water resistant if you want to say that. And on the back they've got like a rubber plastic coating so making it even more waterproof. They do say about these packs, you've got a big opening there so it's not 100% waterproof, but they say about the packs, the material is fairly waterproof, but their stitching, where they stitched all the panels and everything together, have not been seam sealed. So if you drop this in a river, it will take a while, but eventually the water will seep through where all the stitching uh, is down here. Had a look at the inside, just had a look at the top. Yeah, this stitching comes all the way through, even with the webbing. All the buckles are strong and reliable. Yeah, easy to undo with one hand and to clip them back up. You get that nice click. We've got the pals or the uh, molly webbing, four rows coming across. And we've got six columns going down, which we can use. So we can attach extra uh, pouches, or we can put some carabiners there and carry your cook kit or whatever you want to. Now coming to the side, we've got five rows of webbing down here with four columns. We've got a compression strap, which is easy to use, even with one hand. Up here you can see we've got the hydration port for your bladder, uh, your hose comes out through from your bladder and I think the core now, your shoulder straps, they call them a low profile shoulder strap and it's got molly webbing all the way down so you can attach a small pouch onto there or put your carabiners again that goes all the way down to a loop at the bottom. A good grab handle, adjustment on these buckles they're easy to play. When you're walking, if it's a little bit high, what I found if I'm just lifting it like that a little bit at a time, the st shoulder strap will just slowly adjust through, and once it's enough, I just let go of it and it goes back into place. So that's really good. The buckles work well. The back panel, there's no padding in there uh, as it is, uh, but in this one, I have got the Savata mat in there to give me a little bit of uh, comfort between the pack and my back so and it also gives the pack a bit of structure that holds it in shape when it's not so full and when it's empty. Same on this side, compression strap, five rows with four columns and the port for your water bladder to come out if you're left handed and when it coming out this side. <coughs> On top we have two rows of molly and it's got six columns coming through so you're able to attach to the top of the pack. The straps come down to the buckles here which goes to the webbing and that can be easily undone, left and make that even longer so you can have stuff under the actual lid. On the bottom, these straps continue around and through four attachment points. So you could actually use extra straps and strap your pack, uh, larger sleeping bags on the bottom, or you can adjust this web in here so it's loose enough for you to slide uh, a smaller pad or a small tent or blanket or your jacket through there and just use these straps and buckle it up and I'll hold it on for you. Of 
coming back to the shoulder straps then. At first when I started using this pack, which was 12 or between 12 and 18 months I'll say, these shoulder straps did dig in when they were new. But over the time of wearing it, these have softened up. So now you, I can barely notice that these are actually in my shoulder. So when you first get it, be aware that these are going to be a bit stiff and it's going to need wearing in to supple it up so it suits your body. The whole inside of the pack is 20 litres in total and it's just one. There's no smaller pouches built inside, there's no dividers there. The only thing you have got in the back is where your water hydration bladder can go and the actual mat I've got in here to give it some structure. And the one other thing we have is up here, attached to the lid. It's a pocket, substantial size zippers. It's about A5 in size. I've got my cheat sheet in there, my bug net at the moment. So we've got stiffeners across here. Not this side, this is nothing there. So when you fold it up, that's going to hold this in place and that's going to be sealed off to the actual elements. Again, it's not waterproof, so it's going to come down heavy. There's a chance it is going to get into the side a bit. But again, with the lid, you can throw a small tent or yeah, a blanket up the top. Adjust these straps again, so the lid is taller. So you've got plenty of options to carry with this. First aid kit there. I've got this loaded out with a load of different gear. So I'll take some of this out so you can see it'll be easier. Alright, let's bend it down now. I've got the hydration bladder here, and here's the buckle and strap that holds your hydration in place. Simple to adjust to pull it through. And you can take it all the way out and the hydration bladder can come out. Now the mat is here, somebody asked me how easy is it to get access to that. Well, there's your answer, just undone the buckle and I can get the mat in and out to sit on and slide it back in. And then I'll do the buckle back up, push it through, back out through the other side and that's the hydration bladder secure in place. And that's the whole of the inside as well, it's got this coating on it. But the stitching, as I say, isn't seam sealed. I suppose if you've got some uh, seam sealer you could seal all the seams if you wanted to to make it more waterproof. I don't think it's necessary because it's going to take a fair bit of rain continuously coming down to soak through the stitching to get to your gear inside. But let's put the sides in, hold that flat down bring over the lid and buckle up what we have at the top here is the loop of the hook and loop or your velcro so you can attach your morale patches on there so you can adjust that to suit you put them on and off I've got a smiley one on my other uh, medium version of this just to keep the actual loop clean and it also looks cool I think so that's it, the Savata Yakui, also pronounced Jackie, depends where you are and who's talking about it. Backpack. Like I said, I've had this between 12 and 18 months. I've used it quite often to do day trips or to take gear out and review. And to be honest, you can only just tell, just because this is softened up here over my shoulders, that it's not a new pack. So that's the Yakui Small.
first thing I think over the last few years. So if you've enjoyed this video and you're not a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. And click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.